Good afternoon. We're out here on Highway 66 in beautiful Sevierville. And I just got a question for you today. What are French Bulldogs, a Southern Gospel icon, and a pitmaster have in common? Well, here, they're all the same thing because you got a French Bulldog breeder, a Southern Gospel musician, and a pitmaster rolled all into one. This is Tony Gore's Smoky Mountain Barbecue and Grill. Tony Gore's is located at 1818 Winfield Dunn Parkway in Sevierville. You'll know you're there when you smell them ribs on the smoker and see Tony's big old tour bus right out front. Tony Gore Smoky Mountain Barbecue has a very nice outdoor dining area with uh, your metal tables, chairs, and umbrellas for shade. When you first come inside to Tony Gore Smoky Mountain Barbecue, you're going to get into a line like area where you will see some merchandise for sale, uh, dry mixes, t-shirts, and the like. And here we have a poster advertisement for the Lumiere French Bulldogs that Tony himself raises and breeds. And aren't they so super cute? And we're gonna actually show you a little bit more about that later. Uh, we've got this cute t-shirt that says sun's out and buns out at Tony Gore's. And this is the line in the area where you will decide what you want to order. Of course, we will post the menu at the end as always. Look at these desserts and cakes. There's German chocolate, caramel, coconut. I believe that's a strawberry cake there. And here you have some of the homemade salads that uh, you can choose as sides. And there is the famous fried chicken uh, that is made fresh daily some catfish and there is the chicken and dumplings as well as the chicken cobbler which is a new item you've got cream corn and uh, fried green tomatoes you will place your order at the counter and look you might even see Tony himself taking your order for you you do place your order and then have a seat and you can also purchase some of Tony's uh, spices and rubs as well as the family recipe for the barbecue sauce heading into the dining area on the inside you have plenty of tables and chairs with a farmhouse decor it's very cozy and comfortable you'll find a bar with the barbecue sauces on the other side as well as more seating all around the restaurant to start off, Tony recommends his homemade mozzarella sticks that are battered and fried and they are as big as they look. They are absolutely ginormous and we've got some marinara sauce. Barbecue and ranch. And this is barbecue ranch that they make here in house. Yes. Look at those. It's like campfire logs. Look at that. <laughs> that is huge. Let me twirl it for you. Wow thing that we have in the fire lord we just pray that it exalts you and brings you honor and glory for you are due all the honor and glory in jesus name we pray amen, amen. i'm going with the barbecue ranch because that just feels right are you ready brooks is gonna try these monstrous mozzarella sticks look at that i mean okay brooks has big hands i have big man hands and look how big those are it's like a campfire log. Seriously. Oh. I want you to break it open. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a Cuban cigar, okay? Look at it. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> break that baby open and see what. Look how cheesy that is. Oh, that's awesome. Stringy cheese. Those are incredible. Oh, look at that. It's just not, you know, it's good cheese if it, it continues. It just keeps going. Stringing forever. 
I'm ready gonna to wrap, wrap the tree. <laughs> wrap the cheese I'm around. Wrapping it. the cheese. All right, let's see you dip it there. That looks really good. Hmm. As good as that is, this the barbecue ranch. Whoa. It just sort of sets it. That's amazing. So, yeah, this is a big thumbs up. I highly recommend this. So, right, I want to see you with it. Looking forward to trying it. Yeah. All right, dear. Y'all. I have never, ever in my life. Look at that. I mean, it is just incredible. Look at that cheese. Oh, wow. I have to try the barbecue ranch as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. Tony, bro. <laughs> These mozzarella sticks are the bomb, and I'm not even kidding. So that's a winner? But it's enough for a whole meal or three. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. Well, we'll see what's next. Okay, y'all. These mozzarella sticks look like they're very, very heavy, don't they? I mean, they just look like they're heavy, but the cheese, I can't even explain it. It's just so kind of almost light and fluffy. And the batter is very light, not greasy. They are honestly incredible. Mm -hmm. When you're at Tony Gore's, you definitely need to eat, drink, and wear stretchy pants. For real. Guys, Tony is such a seasoned cook. <laughs> He's even got a recipe over here for cream possum, which we're going to be trying on camera for you very soon. <laughs> Looks like it comes with sweet potatoes and... Garnished in cone fat cone gravy. fat gravy for the yes. hard to satisfy gourmet palate, y'all. By the way, we're, we're just, just kidding. <laughs> Are you my Employment. server? Employment. I'm your server You're today. Server I'm handing you today. the wrong dish. You're handing me the, the plate? Let me tell you what. You are one good looking server. Well, thank you. I'll tell you what. I will tip well. <laughs> Okay. All right. Looks delicious. Yes. All right. So we're going to describe what we got here in just a minute. All right. All right. For me, I got the fast track, which is I got chose to choose two meats and two sides. I've got the ribs here. They are St. Louis style ribs and chicken cobbler, which is a new thing that Tony's got the last few weeks mashed potatoes with gravy and those are red skin potatoes the cabbage and a corn muffin and the three sauces which i'll let brooks explain okay so for me start off with some sides baked mac and cheese you've got country gumbo i'm going to explain that that is a southern staple that is stewed tomatoes and okra and it does not get any better than that Got your roll, pit smoked chicken, smoked bologna, and then look at this brisket. Yes, a uh, brisket man. Three sauces we put over here on Christie's plate. The first one here in the front, this is your traditional. The middle one there is the mustard. And then in the back, we've got a little spicy barbecue. So. We're looking forward to it. And he we're, does sell the sauces. He does here sell the at sauces. The That's right. So we're gonna let you know what we think here in just a minute. All right. Um, you, what do you want to start with? There? I'm gonna start with the chicken cobbler because that intrigued me the most. It seems like it's a chicken pot pie. Yes. Type dish, except I think the topping might be a biscuit topping. Yeah. Looks like there's potatoes, carrots, corn, green beans. Oh. Can't, you can take me out, but you can't. Yeah, whatever that saying is. Mmm. That is just nice. 
Yeah. That is kind of a mix between a chicken and dumplings and chicken dressing. Okay. Uh, or a chicken pot pie. It's like a it's like a, a hybrid. <laughs> okay. Casserole. Very, very good. I okay. like that. That's okay. very good. All right. Um, seasoned nice, not too salty, which it, that's always a big thing with me. Yes, absolutely. I don't, I don't like a lot of salt. It's just nice. Very okay. nice. It's comfort food. Comfort sure. food. Okay. All right. Let me try this cabbage. I cabbage love here. I love cabbage, and I think that, um, you know, as far as barbecue restaurants go, that's not something you see very often, so I was glad to see it here. I agree with that. And, you know, I love cabbage. Mm. Good southern seasoning on there. It's just nice. It's got a sweetness to it, and it, it, it's just nice. It's yes. nice. It's just a nice southern stew. Yes. Like, I don't know if it's stewed or what, but it's good. That is stewed cabbage. It sure is. Right. Okay, so now next. Grab these ribs. Oh gosh, they are falling apart. Grab the ribs there. They are falling apart. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yum. We got Tony here at the table. We do have Tony at the hey, table. Everybody. Yes, They're, yes. First of all, those, you need an award. Oh, oh yes. Amazing. Women yes. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> we need to have those. Yes. Try that um, rib for me. I'm going to try it naked. Yes, try that. Oh wow. That's perfect. Perfect? Okay. Hey, there's no better than perfect. Perfect, That's right. perfect, That's perfect right. seasoning. Wow. I'm gonna try just a little bit of the spicy sauce. Spicy sauce, okay. On a saucy grill. But they're very good naked, to be honest. Mm. That's a nice sauce. Mm. Not too spicy, but it's there. So just a little kick there. It is. Show that bone. Show that bone right quick. I okay. want you to show that. So I will say this. Look at that. Look how clean that bone is. There are a lot of places to get ribs in the Smokies. Yeah. There ain't nowhere that it falls off the bone and has this kind of smoke flavor. Yes. Like this. I mean, every place has their own special thing. I think Tony's got it on ribs, man. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I like the mustard sauce, too. Okay. Last is the mashed potatoes. Look here. There's nothing processed about that. Uh, no. Get in there. And again, they are the red skin mashed potatoes, which is not something you see a whole lot around here. That's right. If I didn't know better, I would Paula Dean was back there putting butter in them taters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. All right, one last thing. You buttered your bread. I got a corn muffin. You did, and you buttered your bread. I buttered my bread. It's very, it's very soft and spongy, not crumbly like sometimes cornbread can be. Yeah. Or moist. Give it yeah. a shot. Hmm. Hmm. How's that cornbread? Buttermilk. Yes. There's a little bit of sweetness, which I, from the north, like. Yep. I like that little bit of sweetness. It's it's not dry. Perfect, honestly. And it's a good sized corn muffin that they give you. Very nice. Okay, good deal. I'm I'm pleased. Very happy with that meal. Very happy with this meal. All right, I'm about to get into this. All right, Brooksy baby. You've got a beautiful looking tray of food there. And I love how they put everything on the newsprint. Yes, I like that too. What are you going to try first? Mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. It looks like a homemade mac and cheese. It is. It's baked. You can tell baked that it mac is. Mac and cheese. Good. Oh, I missed you taking a bite. I was kind of was focused on the mac and cheese. Okay, well, that's all right. Take I'll try it again. <laughs> So it has great texture. You know, some kind of like drowned in cheese sauce. This doesn't do that. This has more of that the baked texture. The noodles absorb the yes, the very cheese much. flavor. Mm -hmm. And I really like that about it. Now, now, how are the noodles? Are they real soft? Are they all dense? Very soft. They're very soft. 
All right. This. That looks really good. This is as down home. Matter of fact, I need to get us some okra and make us some of that. Down home southern as you get. I'm going to try to get it on the, on the fork here without spilling it on myself. Well, you'd be doing better now. Stewed tomatoes and okra. This is one of my favorites. And you just don't find this in every barbecue one place. One thing I love about Tony Gore's is he has such great side dishes along with great meats. I mean, it's just, just good. Mm. Mm. So that's a little sweet. And then it has just a little spice right on the back end. Nice. That's really, really nice. So, pit smoked chicken. I'm going to start here. Look how that crispy is that skin is. Leg and thigh. Yes. How crispy that skin is. And look at this. Watch this. Look at that. Watch that leg just fall off. off the bone. Which means two Matter things. Fact, look at that. It's look tender. Look how the bone actually came out of the thigh. And it's moist. Yes, it is. It, it's, it's juicy. I say juicy. Brooks hates the word moist, y'all. Don't like that word. Hang on there. Let me oh, do it some look justice. At that. Look how that just literally it just you can falls see apart. Smoke. The look at the smoke. The smoke. The pinkness is from the, the smoke, glisten. but you can see the glistening that it is a moist. Yeah, it's a juicy chicken. chicken. That's right. I'm going for some mustard sauce. Mm. That chicken actually needs nothing. It, it would stand yeah, it on its looks, own. It looks really, really good. But that mustard sauce is a nice compliment. All right, try that bologna. Smoked bologna. <laughs> Smoked bologna. My dad always called it bologna. I love bologna anyway, but smoke bologna in the south, man. How about that? Let's try. Yeah. Mm. Now, is that dense? Is it more light? It's like a half inch thick. No, I mean like the texture. I don't know. No, it's that's not a heavy meat. Okay. At all. But it's very, very good. It's just flavorful. There's okay. nothing bad about that. I'll definitely try a bite. Okay, brisket. Yeah, this is where your expertise... This is where boom. Okay. First of all, look how nice that meat looks. I am not touching sauce on this, okay? Look at the nice outer crust there. You can see the there. smoke ring there. You can. There it right is, here. yep. That little nice smoke ring. There's a nice bark. Okay, so it's not too much, but it's just enough. You've smoked a few briskets in your life. Not nearly as many as Tony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks really good. Perfect. It looks like it's falling apart too. Okay, Tender. so... Uh, best brisket in the Smokies is at Tony Gore's. That's absolutely correct. Coming from you, that is an absolute compliment. Maybe compliment because, because you is. are the bis the biscuit, <laughs> the brisket king. Brisket king. Okay. I can't We're gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been doing things uh, fretted and bride lately. Right? Yes. The last video, I, it was fretted and bride. Fretted and bride. Today it's a biscuit, not a brisket. Yeah. So That's okay. They have biscuits. This is all good. Like I said, and we're going to go enjoy this meal. And we'll be back in a little bit and talk to Tony a little bit and... We might have to try some dessert. Oh, gosh. Did y'all see that dessert case when we came in? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Yep. We'll be back. We're going to interview with Tony, but we have some business to take care of first. We are going to interview with Tony. I've got the man here himself. So, but, yes. Somebody going to be a daddy. I'm about to show you something. Yeah. Look oh at this baby right oh. here. Oh, my goodness. Look at are this. you looking at this? Hey, Hi, baby. baby. Hey, baby. This. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the Ramsey Ranch. Oh, you want to say hi on camera? This is Milton Otis, or Mo for short. What do you think you about that? that? I think he's a beautiful Milton is, is he Otis, not beautiful? And they're going to call him Mo. 
Look how pretty this baby is. Oh, gosh. And he is a oh buddy. French you are so cute. What do you think? He's very calm. Are you like ready? Yeah. You really are a calm boy. Will he grow into his ears? Yes. <laughs> he will. Look at that. Look at that. He perked, oh, he perked up a little bit. Want to say hi to your mommy? Say hi to your mommy. I don't know what's going on, but So this is one of a few, this is, matter of fact, this is the only place in the Smokies that you can have a great barbecue meal. <laughs> this is hilarious. And then get you a little French bulldog <laughs> to go on with. All no, at the same place. All in the same place. <laughs> I love it. You didn't know what I was talking about when I did my intro, but now you know because this little fella right here was That's a little bit of French flair. Was was well, there barbecue. is so it's southern barbecue with a French flair. That's right. Yes, and look how precious oh, this baby is. A I mean, yeah, you're gonna be my little baby boy. Yes, I can is. tell I'm already. Telling, he's, he's gonna be wrong. Oh, buddy. I am so, so excited so about you. What you think? What, what you, you think? think about your daddy? Yeah. Are you excited? He kind of looks like his daddy. He's going to thank you. He looks like his daddy? <laughs> He's going to thank you. French boy. Well, he th she's like, you look like me. What? <laughs> he looks what like think? me, don't he? What do you yeah. think? And he was the only boy. He's also. the only boy, yep. Yeah. precious. So you are precious. kind of just ruled the group. Oh, yes. You are precious. Okay. I have a sister rule the group. Well, <laughs> so, now that you have seen Milton, Milton's going to sit here and conduct the interview with me. How's that? that We're going to put him to work on day one of the Ramsey Ranch. Look at that. He might need his own YouTube channel. What do you think? Milton might need his own YouTube channel. What do you think, buddy? Yes? You want to go on YouTube? Are you going to be know. famous? You're going to be a famous YouTube star? Yes. Oh my goodness. Look you don't even you know it. You're going to be a YouTube star. You don't even know it, buddy. You're so cute. I'm just so loving him. I'm loving him. You're just adorable. <laughs> you are adorable. Yes, you are, Okay, buddy. we got to hurry the interview up because Mama's wanting to hold him. Mama wants to hold him. That's right. Okay. So we are here with the man himself, Tony Gore. Now, Tony is not only a wonderful pit master, Tony is also in ministry himself and a Southern Gospel icon. I call him an icon because he is. Matter of fact, when you come to Tony Gore's, you're going to hear some Tony Gore's music. And let me tell you what. It is wonderful how he exalts the Lord through his business. I'm loving it. As a matter of fact, I feel blessed whenever. I yes. Can. Now Tony has actually worked with us before. Tony actually donated things for our. Uh, I won't, wasn't a homeless dinner, but we did a Thanksgiving dinner for the uh, for the underprivileged up in Pigeon Forge back before COVID. Tony was a big helper with that, and so we are always. Glad to support local business. Glad to support local ministries because what a blessing that was. Yeah. And Tony, we really, really appreciate it. Um, but Tony, always so, happy to help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Tony, uh, what got you started in barbecue? My granddaddy. Your granddad, okay. So, my granddaddy, um, who passed away when I was less, I was about eight, seven or eight, um, he died of a heart attack. Um, he was exactly like me, built like me, stood like me, and loved to cook. He loved to cook and loved people. Yep. And when my granddaddy cooked, he didn't cook in regular kitchen pots. He cooked, do you know what a foot tub is? Yes. You remember the big, <laughs> that's what my papa would cook in. It's the biggest pots he could find. And when he cooked, everybody in the community knew he was cooking and they were all welcome to come eat. I love that. That was my granddaddy. I love and that. And so I, I kind of got it natural. That's, that's awesome. So, so now how long have you been at this location? Oh, speaking of which, my grand, a lot of people like our barbecue sauce the mild yes. family recipe yep that's my favorite that's yep. my granddaddy's recipe barbecue sauce okay so so family recipes and i interrupted you what was no the you're okay how, how long have you been at this location 17 now? years 17 years here got the bus and the truck out front we're going to show you that and of course like i said now uh 
Tony, of how course. How did the Bulldogs how, come how did the French Bulldogs come to be? How, how did that happen? Well, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know, but I used to, we used to breed Shih Tzus a long time ago. Okay. Um, way before the restaurant. Um, so I've kind of, you know, I'm a dog lover. Yes. I love animals. Thing. <laughs> and if you don't like animals. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Go somewhere else. We're with that. Because animals are more important here than... This is the 10th animal we added this week to our house. We did. We added nine hens. <laughs> I love it. Yes. You know I used to have over 200 Oh, chickens. my goodness. Oh, are you tired? He's tired. I used to sell eggs when I was in high school. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's awesome. So decided to try to become more sustainable. We have. We have. And so so little Milton is going to come home. He's just adorable. He's got three brothers. So we will ten put... sisters. So we will put information on the restaurant, of course, but we will also put information on Tony's music. On our on uh, in the description below the video here, and we're also going to put the description on these beautiful Lumiere French Bulldogs because let me tell you what. Now Milton is a lilac. That's correct. Yep. Milton is a lilac Frenchie. Or they also call it an Isabella. Yes. Oh, that's look, two different that colors. Different? Two different colors. Look at look at him. He's he's already tired and he's he's sleepy. He's laying on Daddy and he says, him. "I am oh, very comfortable." You going to sleep? Oh my goodness, buddy. So we. <laughs> See, I'm yes. in the bus ball by myself. Everybody left me by myself. Did you, were you comfortable there? So were you, you happy, boy? We currently got another litter that will be ready at some point. Yeah, they're the two weeks. Um, what is today, Friday? They turned two weeks yesterday. What was their color pattern? I saw some white. There is, uh, the, the mama is white. Mm -hmm. um, she's a white. Of course, she don't have wings, but this is what she looks like. She's oh, a, she's, so cute. she's a she's a, a platinum. Well, she's one mark below a platinum, but she's covered in cream. So her whole color is this white cream color. Right. The daddy is a blue and tan. Yeah. Uh, full fluffy. Have you seen oh, the fluffies? Oh yes. Are so any of them fluffy? Oh. Yeah, the next letter is going to be flipped. Oh. And there's nine, 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 there's nine of those. She had a lot. Look at this boy. He's just awesome. He's awesome. Perfect. So we are, uh, so like I said, if you're coming in off of 407 and you're coming into Sevierville, you want good barbecue. Here's the thing, okay? There are, it feels like a hundred different barbecue restaurants in the Smokies. And that's probably true. But if you're looking for the best variety, and the best food and especially the best brisket and desserts oh my goodness and, remember, and the ribs mama loves the ribs mama loves the ribs mama does love the ribs and that chicken chicken cobbler chicken was amazing cobbler. i just chicken started cobbler. making that that's a yes. new that dish I, this bad. is the third day that was third day yes and oh and the mozzarella sticks. oh well even about the mozzarella. milton gives this a two paws up already Yes, look at that, how precious that face is. You can tell he loves them too. Look at the look in Tony's eyes. Oh, look at that. Like I said, we're going to have the description in the video for Tony's music, for the restaurant, and of course for these beautiful French Bulldogs. It is a, it's like a one-stop shop. It's like a pet store, barbecue <laughs> restaurant, and great music on top of everything else. You're not going to find that anywhere else in the Smokies, no. I promise you that. So so if you're ever interested in a French Bulldog, remember me. Yes. Um, I don't have puppies all the time, but usually one or two times a year I have, uh, an, abundance. I have an abundance right now. Yes. I had two yes. that had babies a month apart. Oh, wow. Wow. The very is first be awesome. time I bred, we had... You won't believe this, but I had two puppies that had puppies like a day apart. One of them went into labor on Monday, the other one had puppies Those on Tuesday. Are some wow. Yeah. 
They sure are. Look at it. So the French Bulldogs, a lot of people don't realize that French Bulldogs oh, baby. are, everything is baby. artificial. Baby. So it's artificial yes. insemination. I did know that. Um, it's C-section. They cannot have the puppies yes. naturally. Some of them might could have them depending on their build, but it's really better for the oh. pup, the mama, if Milk. you just deliver them. Yes. So precious. Yes. So he is so precious. Look at this huge. Those flat nose yeah. Yes. Huge so uh, vet bills with these guys. Yeah. Just to get a puppy. Okay, but I'm worth it. Yeah, he's I'm worth it. Worth it. He is, he so is awesome. He's awesome. So we are going to um, we'll do final thoughts in the car with Milton. We're going to give you uh, some time to get to know Milton a little bit on camera. But for now, we just want to say, Tony, thank you so, so much. Thank you, my brother. We appreciate you so, so thank much. You. And like I said, next time you're in the Smokies and you're coming through Sevierville, stop off at Tony Gore's. You won't be disappointed with that. Come see us, guys. Granny's got his hands full over here. Yes. With a little bit of Milton. Maybe I'll take it less off me and more on him. More on Milton. Because he's the star today besides Tony Gore's cooking. Yes. Final thoughts? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> the food was fantastic. Milton's even better. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yes. So... Seriously, guys, there are about, it feels like, here, come here, play with daddy, okay, yeah, there are like 50 to 100 great barbecue places in the Smokies, and we've been documenting a lot of them, and we'll continue to document more, <laughs> come here, and stay on camera, <laughs> you have to get final thoughts, so, uh, but yes, this is just, <laughs> Uh, this has been an awesome day. First of all, Tony uh, is a brother in ministry, and he has helped us tremendously in ministry. Um, he's a great breeder with these French Bulldogs. This is something that you can tell he loves. He's tired. He puts a ton of... Oh, look at that. He's going to sleep on camera. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. But... You know, he puts so much into these dogs, and they are so healthy and happy, and they just, they're well taken care of, and so we were excited to be able to get little Mo here, little Milton Otis. Yes, for those asking how we come up with that name, Christy wanted Otis Lee, and I said, you can have Otis, but he is my Tennessee dog, so now he's lilac. But to me, he almost looks smoky gray. Yeah, <laughs> see? Mo agrees. Kind of like Mo Tennessee. Knows. Mo knows. Mo knows. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so Milton, after our Tennessee quarterback, Joe Milton, who I believe will be repping a national championship for the Vols this year. Go Vols. And Milton here. If not, he could be Milton Hershey or... <laughs> He's just going to be Milton Otis forever, and he's going to be great. And let me tell you what. I'm going to dress him up. You're going to see Milton dressed up like Tennessee here. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, if you think he should have his own YouTube channel, comment below. <laughs> if he should have his own YouTube channel, he's cute enough for it. Look at that. He's way cuter than I am. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> I think you resemble each other. Uh, oh. So she says I'm a dog. The cute Oh, he loves his mommy too already. So we're excited to take this little boy home okay, now. So he's distracted by the dog. Yes, which is opposite usually. Start. Uh, start with the food. I'm so, going to talk about the food. Yes. Uh, the mozzarella sticks. Like you don't expect that caliber of a mozzarella stick at a barbecue. They're at campfire logs. Um, they were delicious. They were light, not heavy flavorful as a woman who craves cheese quite often that was like yes thank you tony for those yes and the food ribs they were the number one they're number one rib in my opinion and 
we, we do a lot of barbecue restaurants and we're not just saying that. We, I love the ribs, truly. They were fall off the bone. Enjoyed the the uh, family sauce recipe, which Tony said his dad. Granddad. Granddad. It's a grandfather's uh, recipe. Yes, and um, the chicken. Cobbler. Cobbler. Fantastic. Tasted like you're going to grandma's house. And she used what she had in her, her pantry to make a delicious casserole. Oh, it's and good. And it had all kinds of goodness in it. And I ate all of that. And none of that came home. Because it really just was like comfort food kind of thing. Veggies, mushrooms, and everything else. Right? And um, like I said, I did talk about the mashed potatoes being red. Uh, don't find that a lot around here. And I like that the best, actually. <laughs> uh, the cabbage. Uh, the sides at Tony's are... <laughs> Just, you will find your traditional barbecue sides. We're watching Mo. Going Mo's on my dashboard. And um, he has a lot of different variety of sides. Yes. Um, and all good southern cooking. Yeah. So, we did not get dessert today. But Oh, but he has great desserts. Oh, gosh. They were so good. They are so good. We can vouch for that from the past. And Tony's coconut cake. He's donated cakes to our, our various... Mission project. So don't funk your head on the windshield, Pumped baby. His head. And so yeah, anyway, yeah, what? we're a little distracted now. Oh, he found a comfortable spot over there. Yeah, he found he's, a comfortable spot next to there. Daddy. Can you see? Oh, yes, oh. He says, I'm going to lay on my daddy. Him. Oh, look at him. Yeah. He's gonna be my We're a baby. little distracted with our new baby, y'all. We can't really help it. Sorry about the hand. Yes. No professionalism here. No professionalism at I the moment. I can't even. I need to take a picture of that. Oh, he is adorable. <laughs> so, for me, uh, I'm a brisket man. I love brisket. And you know what? There are not a lot of places in Sevier County that really have good brisket, barbecue-wise. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, we've done Archer's before. Archer's only has brisket on Friday and Saturday. Uh, Archer's only does brisket on Friday and Saturday. Um, Trotter's focuses more on the whole hog. So if you're really wanting great brisket, Tony Gore's is your place. And I think I'm about to get photo bombed here. So <laughs> yes, it's just, like I said, it's fantastic food. I think you're going to love it. Um, the sides, stewed tomatoes and okra, they call it country gumbo here which i love that uh christy's right between the the cooked cabbage the stewed tomatoes and okra the country gumbo mashed potatoes and gravy all the sides the baked mac and cheese there's just so much and it's just amazing so like i said and tony's a great guy with a great ministry um he's multifaceted like i said he's a a bulldog breeder a pit master and a southern gospel icon and you'll hear his music playing in the restaurant yeah it's i was fantastic. really kind of blessing just mm -hmm. as we listened to the music as we were eating and and it's like going to homecoming at church he's going to sleep <laughs> he's going to sleep on day. there will be a lot more of milton notice there's gonna be a lot more milton aka to mo but we wanted to introduce him first here on the channel so uh, um our daughter is gonna oh he's snored. yes uh, Emily is going to freak out. She and... is a lover of flat nose. Oh, man. Doggies. He's going to fall asleep on daddy. Yeah. Look so. at him. <laughs> well, uh, I think that about wraps it up from here. Tony Gore's Smoky Mountain Barbecue and Grill on Highway 66 in Sevier. Well, you got to get on down here. You want ribs? Ribs. You want brisket? You get brisket. You want a French Bulldog? Get a French Bulldog. So, just so much They're here, like such I said. Beautiful yes, it's it's amazing. So, like I said, come on out to Tony Gore's. Um, well, for now, I'm Christy. I'm Brooks. Mil we are Milton's down there asleep. He's Milton Otis. He's Mo. I'll take a picture of that when I turn off the camera. Yes. So we see so cute. Yes. For <laughs> now, 
We are Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. We love you guys. We've had faith, food, and fun today. We have had faith, food, and fun all in one stop. So Tony Gore's is your one-stop shop. So for now, we're going to ask you to give us a thumbs up. Like that video if you liked it. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we have so much more coming up. And always hit that notification bell so that you get a ringy-dingy yes every time we post new content so you'll be notified and i think that's about it that's it god bless you guys we love you and we're gonna see you next time Bye bye Mm-hmm.